Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about the not all men meme, and I want to ask the question, is the not all men defense legitimate? Is it a good thing to bring up? And similarly, when people dismiss a viewpoint saying, oh, that's just the not all men argument, is that really a good thing to do? And I think the answer is sometimes. I think that this is a little bit of a complex issue. So a little background on not all men. What is it? This is my understanding of it. A lot of the times, women will get together and they'll be talking about a certain problematic behavior that men will often engage in. And they're often speaking from personal experience. So they might say like, I've had a problem with men in my life doing this thing. Or when men do this thing, I think it's really harmful, and they start discussing it. And they're discussing it in an empowering way, with an eye towards a solution. And the intention of the discussion, and the tone of the discussion, is not about attacking all men, it's not about condemning men, it's about a certain problem that they want to solve, and there's like a lot of support and solidarity being expressed. And then a man will come in, and will be like, hey, but not all men do this. And that is the situation where I think the not all men label is really useful to apply to his argument. Because saying not all men do this is kind of irrelevant. The women weren't claiming that all men do something, and they weren't intending to attack him. And so when he comes in, it's sort of derailing the discussion. It's pushing it away from the sort of problem-solving approach, and it's instead making it into this sort of conflict, men versus women. And I think it's good for people to call people out on that and to say, hey, like, this is not a good behavior. On the other hand, I think that there are situations in which people can overgeneralize about men, and be making gross negative generalizations about men that are not constructive, and that themselves are directly contributing to that us-them mentality, men versus women, feminists versus anti-feminists, this sort of group conflict. I think overgeneralizing is a really problematic thing. I actually have talked about it in other videos, and I think that it can be at the heart of both group conflict and mental disorders like depression. And so I think it's really valuable to both call people out on overgeneralization, and also to root out overgeneralizations from your own mind, from your own thinking. So an example of this, from Tumblr actually, I saw someone and they were talking about something involving men, and someone then posted this comment and they're like, men are fucking scum. That is a gross overgeneralization. And I think in that case, it is a really valuable thing to do for someone to come in and be like, hey, not all men are fucking scum and so on. Uh, maybe that's not the most effective way to say it, because of this whole not all men meme, but I think that it is good to call people out on overgeneralizations like that. Unfortunately, one thing that I've seen happen a lot recently, in some feminist circles on the internet, is that when people call people out on overgeneralizations, they are then accused of using the not all men defense, and they're accused of derailing. And I think that's really problematic. I think that it is important to not overgeneralize in our discussions. And I think that if we overgeneralize, it often leads to this group conflict. That sort of empowering, supportive, problem-solving discussion that I was talking about earlier, the one that can sometimes get derailed by men saying not all men, those constructive conversations are generally ones that happen when people are being specific, and they are speaking from personal experience, and they're saying things like, I've had a lot of experiences with men doing this. Or they say, uh, I've observed this behavior a lot. Or they say, when men do this, it's really harmful. Things like that. And they're not making broad, sweeping personal attacks against all men. So, um, I think that it's good to steer conversations in that direction, and I would rather us always be doing that. And so I think that this whole like not all men meme, it's a little problematic, and it leads to this sort of like quick labeling of an argument. I'd rather us look deeper and say, are we overgeneralizing, are we not, and is this conversation constructive, is it not?
If someone feels attacked and they're not really being attacked, I think it's good to point out, hey, this isn't really about you, we're not intending to attack you, if it seemed like we were saying all men do this, that's not what we were saying, that's not what I was intending to say, and then you can, like, get the conversation back on track. I think that that's a more constructive way of calling people out on that sort of derailing behavior. I'd love to hear from you if you have anything to add, and as always, I love when people share my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you!